Hey y'all, it's Destiny, and welcome back to Destiny Reacts. Well, that didn't take long. Liv is back, and it's only been a week since she did her last live stream, but she went ahead and did a live stream yesterday, and there were some interesting things that she said in that live. Now, it was very long, and I did not watch all of it. <laughs> but from what I did see, here are some crazy stuff that she decided to say. Yeah, she's a shitty ass. Let me not, I don't want to be disrespectful, okay? Because I'm past that. She's not a good person in my eyes because I would never be with a married man, period. I just wouldn't be, maybe I would get caught up when I, I mean, we have three babies together. Babies, not grown ass kids. I have a two-year-old, a four-year-old, whatever, whatever, whatever. Like my babies are little, and he was sleeping with me, coming over, playing in my head, spending the night, coming over in the morning before work, coming from her house to my house to sleep with me. Ding, ding, ding. And I speak to you woman to woman, and I say, you need to bow out, honey. You need to go somewhere. As a woman, you should be like, you know what? I'm going to let you have this, sis. And people want to big her up just to hurt me. You know what I mean? Just to hurt me. And it's fine. What's right is right and what's wrong is wrong. And I'm sure that's what he's doing to her now. It's mind games. I will never understand the shit he's going through because he's on some next level shit. He didn't allow himself to process the breakup. He didn't allow himself time for himself. I love how Olivia is giving Jirai advice and saying, you didn't even take time after our breakup to just get yourself together. And like, you didn't even take time. You got with somebody real quick. And the fact that she's giving him that advice is hilarious. <laughs> just allowed somebody in the relationship to influence the situation, to be the talk. Cause I know, I feel like they're both manipulators manipulating each other in this whole situation and once again that's fine that's their situation but like I said I was just I played my position I was the wife I came down there and I'm still the wife and you can say what you want if that's the fucking title okay yes yes they are still married she is the wife I get it but when was she playing her part I just I need to know you know, she's been with people, he's with somebody. I mean, when? When? What's gonna be like, girl, please. He didn't want y'all ass. Girl, please. He still wants my ass, okay? Brandon. Brandon came in the picture because, you know, when I first got out to Texas, he was playing with me mentally. We hadn't slept together yet. And it was probably like a month into me being there. And he got it through my head. He was like, I don't want to be with you anymore. I'm done, Olivia. That was a hard-ass fucking pill to swallow. But when a bitch gotta move on, a bitch gotta move on, okay? I did the normal thing. I found me a little friend. What you mean? Oh, it's okay that he does it, but it's not okay that I do it. What happened to taking time for yourself and all the advice you just tried to give Gerard? He didn't take time for himself after the breakup. Why would you immediately go and get with somebody else? You should have took your own advice. I had a right. But no. Olivia wants to move on? Oh, hell no. He ain't gonna let that happen. So that's when the sex started. That's when the sex started. That's when him trying to be with me started. Girl, let me tell you. This man would not leave me alone. There would be times he would show up at my house 2, 3 in the morning. I would tell him, baby, go home. What you here for? Just confused, bewildered, sweating. He don't know what he's doing. Like, what are you doing? So you think that it was just me playing games in the situation. He played his fucking part. We both play games. Okay, we both didn't know how to let each other go. Okay, I think it's right. Any woman, even if you, the, the position you're in, the mistress, the whatever you want to call yourself, I don't even think it's right for you to get your heart played with. He, let me tell you something, he's not the prize. Gerard will never be faithful and loyal to somebody. You understand me? It just won't ever happen. 
And if you, and if, I know bitches out there going to be like, girl, please, he can change. He didn't change. He was out there chasing me, dogging this chick out. She's just, she's just, I don't know. It seems like she gets an enjoyment out of saying how Gerard still wants to be with her and was still with her even when he's been with the woman he's with now. It seems like she gets an enjoyment out of saying it and letting people know. What do y'all think in the comments? The only thing she good that she got out the situation was she gets to be around my kids. You played a part in breaking up the kids' family. And you're around my kids. I mean, let's just look at it like what it is. It is what it is. Okay. She played her part in destroying. Now we played our parts too. Don't get it wrong. I'm not discrediting that. But she played her part in destroying the kids' family. Do you believe that Olivia has a point in saying that the new girlfriend of Gerard played her part in breaking up their family? Do you guys agree that she had a hand in their breakup? Let me know what y'all think in the comments. You know, the women that want to talk big this girl up, I think it's really like a, it's a skin color thing. Because whenever I see or whenever I hear this bullshit, whenever I'm written on Instagram about it, oh, she's a black queen and I could never. Bitch, please. I'm all of a black queen that the next bitch is. What you mean? I'm sorry that you don't see me like that, but that's what I know I am. Well, I can't even believe she said that. What she did, that's not really queen status. I don't care what skin color you are. That's not a queen. That's a that's a peasant gunning for the queen, if you ask me. I, I already know his next moves. Like I said, everything's for social media. Everything's to hurt me, okay? Since he cannot hurt me, let me tell you how the next couple years are, are about to play out, okay? We're about to get a divorce. He's about to turn around instantly, propose to her, and then marry her. All to hurt me, okay? <laughs> Let me just get this out the way because it's going to be very uh, social media. It's going to be in the public, okay, publicized because I know how he works. I know I know his next moves. Why does Olivia think that Gerard wants to publicize everything on the internet? It doesn't make sense to me. If he really wanted to publicize everything and get everybody talking, wouldn't he just make his own YouTube account, put him, his girlfriend, and the kids on there and make videos? I mean, anything that anybody has gotten from Gerard has been on his Instagram that he's had forever. Like I said, he needs to be fair. He needs to understand that no matter what, I'm the kid's mother and the kids love me. My babies love me. Every time I talk to them, mommy, I want to come home. I know you do. I know you do. You going to come home. Of course, the kids love her, y'all. That's their mom, of course. But you know who else they love and want to spend time with and see? Their dad. Wasn't she the same one saying that their dad didn't care about them? When he does, he's shown that. Of course they love her, but they also love him too. They should be able to spend time with both of them, right? A lot of people were thinking that Olivia got off of social media because a judge ordered her to and wanted her to get off. But here's her explanation on that. Was I ordered to not be on social media by a judge? No. <laughs> mm -mm. I got on social media because I wanted to. Like I told you guys in the video. Like, <laughs> are you listening? <laughs> Do you guys believe Olivia's explanation on why she wanted to get off of YouTube? Do you think that somebody told her to get off or advised that it would be a good decision? I'm not sure, but I definitely think there was a good reason for her wanting to get off in the first place, but who knows? I swear I'll be telling y'all things and people just flip it and dip it and make their own storyline. Like, I just told you. I just told you I'm getting off social media because I didn't want to do YouTube anymore. I really didn't. I still don't know if I want to. But I knew I wanted to do this live because too much bullshit is being said and it's not correct. It's not correct. I don't know why the misconception of my kids leaving for the summer was for Olivia to get her shit together. There's so many rumors. And when I, when I release certain documents, 
down the line. Like, I really do want an apology because people, it's not okay that people can come on here and they can lie and they can lie and they can lie on you. And people just take it and run with it. It's not okay. I don't know where this narrative well, I do, I don't know, because I don't want to sound like I'm stupid. Like, I don't know where this is coming from. I know where it's coming from, but it's not okay that there's a narrative that I was supposed to get my shit together while my kids were gone. Like, my shit was just everywhere. Like, I was just <laughs> this terrible parent spiraling out of control, like, doing drugs and doing this. Like, what? Sounds like Olivia got her test results back from her drug test that she had to do. So we'll probably be seeing that soon. What do you guys think? Do you think she got those results back and now she'll be showing us? Or what do you think the paperwork is that she wants to let us know about? Let me know what you thought of Olivia's live down in the comments. Also, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Thank you all for watching and I'll definitely see you in the next one.